What, what is that doing here? I forgot to cancel the order. It was for our baby. Where's Max and Milo? Because they should have never let that thing come through. Well, it's okay. I'm all right with it. Well, you don't look all right. And you know what? I want to. I want to call the store. No, it was just. It, <sighs> it's fine. It's not their fault. I, I ordered it a couple months ago, and I, I forgot to cancel it. Look! Look what they threw in as a special prize. Isn't well, it cute? You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ask them to send somebody over to pick it up. No. Bring it back. No, not yet. Please. I was just remembering. Just remembering the day that I bought never, it. Never. That's okay. You and I had some kind of a fight. I don't know what we were fighting about, you know, big surprise. But I didn't intend to go shopping. I just wanted to get out of the house for a while. And I went downtown and I was, I was walking around, looking around, and I saw this baby store. So I went in and I remember I was just, I was totally overwhelmed because they had so much stuff, you know? Claudia, just all this do stuff. you really want to do this right and now? And then I saw this, I... this chair, and I, I went down over to it and I sat in it and I started rocking. It was so comfortable. And the sales lady walked up to me and she goes, you look like you belong there. And that was it. I bought it right there on the spot. I never even imagined rocking our baby in it then. No, I never will. It should never be here, Claudia. You should see how comfortable it is. I don't want to see how comfortable it is. Why don't you sit down and just no, see for yourself how comfortable it is? Why would I want Our to? son would have loved it, no, Sonny. You know, so Claudia, please. Stop it. Of course. You can't just pretend like the baby never happened. I mean, he, he was real, and we expected him, and we wanted him, and then he was, he was gone. We're supposed to move on. Reminder. That's what we're supposed to do. Just... I'm trying. Maybe I'm just not as strong as you it's are. It's not about strength, Claudia. It's about... What? It's about focus. We, can't, we have to focus on what we have, not on what we lost. What do I have, Sonny? I mean, come on, really. Honestly, tell me. What do I have? Okay, I'm gonna have the guys bring us up to the nursery if that's what you want. You know what I want? You know, when I was a little girl, when I was like seven years old, I really, really wanted a puppy. And my dad said that the only good dogs were guard dogs. So I befriended one of our guard dogs, this really beautiful German Shepherd. Her name was Duchess. When my dad went to sleep at night, I would bring her into my room. And at first she'd just sleep by the door. She, she was doing her job protecting you. But after a while, I got her to sleep at the foot of my bed. And then um, one night, Duchess was growling, and I woke up to find my dad and these two men standing over me. He was really upset. And they took Duchess away, and I never saw her again. Well, you know what? Your, your dad probably felt the dog went soft, and it couldn't keep you safe anymore. I didn't want it to keep me safe. I wanted it to be my friend. Everything has a purpose. Yeah, you sound like my dad. I'm Nate. Your dad is my enemy, but he's not a stupid man. I was so angry and so upset because I finally had something that I wanted, something that I loved, and then it was taken away, just like... Listen, you can't. You can't keep dwelling on the baby. You can't. But I don't want to forget, Sonny. I don't want to forget what we almost had and what I already started to love. Maybe you can't understand no, that, no, but... No, no, I do understand. I just don't think it's smart to create a shrine to a child. But I'm not. We, I'm we, not. We... I'm not creating a shrine. I just... I don't... I don't want to forget just yet. This and the chair and that little room upstairs that would have been his nursery. That's all we have left of our son. Something, Sonny. What kind of a father were you to Michael and Morgan? Why do you want to do this now? I Please. Know. I guess you know. I mean, I w uh, I'd read to them. <laughs> you know, like the the old mysteries. You know, those brothers, the Hardy Boys. Mm. Johnny liked that too. Yeah. What else? Uh. Morgan, 
he used to love to build things. Mm -hmm. And my, Michael, would he loved trains, just like I did when I was a kid. Really? I, I don't see you as the model train kind of No, not kid. the model trains, the real trains. I love I loved the real trains. Yeah. There used to be this, this place I used to go to when I was growing up, right by the train tracks. Great place to hide when you're trying to stay away from home. Nothing fancy. I just hang there for hours. Doing what? Just watching the trains go by. I used to hear, you know, the, the sounds of the, the whistle. Mm -hmm. And the train tracks with the wheels. And... It just reminded, it kind of reminded me of freedom. Could have been. You could have jumped on a train at any time you wanted and just gone away. Yeah, I could have, but I had too much to prove to too many people. So I stayed and I stuck it out and I made my mark. I always said that I wanted to, to build a life where my children wouldn't have to run and hide to an empty boxcar. Including our son if he'd been born, right? I was thinking about that too the other day. Just, you know, my mind got away from me and I started daydreaming and I um, I saw our little boy go through school, the whole deal, first grade, high school, he even graduated from college. It's off of the class, naturally. Of course. He was gonna have everything that we never had. I would have made sure that. Um, we would have been okay, right? I mean, we would yeah, have been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have been okay parents, right? What? <laughs> I'm, I get, I'll be, I gotta go. I'll be right back. You're not gonna answer me? You're just gonna stand there while I read it? We open a damn envelope? What is the point? It's news I don't want to hear. Okay, let me do that for you then, okay? Here you go. Poor Charles University. What is this? Will you just keep keep reading? This is to acknowledge the request by Mr. Michael Michael Corinthos Jr. to set up a scholarship in the name of Michael and Claudio Corinthos scholarship to be set up in honor of the memory of what is this? We're setting up a fund for a kid who, whose parents don't have enough money to get an education like you would have wanted for our son. With both of our names on it? I don't understand. Well, I'm not looking for a way out anymore. You don't want a divorce? 